Here it is. CMOS. Um, CMOS. CMOS jug. This is where I get it from. From the Ocean Moss. That code at UK. All right. Then send the dry one all over the world. Anywhere you are in the world, you can get it. The CMOS gel. No, a lot of people doesn't know that CMOS has got so much health benefit. And I'm gonna tell you something, guys. I'm gonna just simply show you how to prepare the CMOS. And after I show you how to prepare the CMOS, then what you can also do, you can um <clears throat> sorry guys, you can um I will show you in part two how to make up the CMOS. All right, Chef Andrea, good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate it. All right. Yeah, so right here, this is what you want to do because you need to wash the sea moss. As I said, go over to Ocean Moss. That's where I brought my one. Ocean Moss, that code that you can. All right, you can go over there and you can get your sea moss to buy. All right, and you can also support them over there. So I'm going to simply show you how to prepare the sea moss. Get it ready and in 24 hours is a different thing. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. It's going to be very, very simple recipe. It's not going to be complicated or, you know what I mean, something where you're not going to be able to do at home. So if you never make sea moss at home, then, yeah, I'm going to simply show you how to prepare sea moss. All right, so basically... If you want to get yourself some sea moss, go to Ocean Moss. Here's the Zim. Good morning. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. All right. So if you want to um, go to Ocean Moss, here it is. Ocean Moss, that code at UK. Go over and get your, get your, 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 your dry sea moss. They sell the gel one. In the buckle, you can also get the one ready and you can get the dry one also. Um, if you go over to my website, chefrecorder.co.uk, on my website, you can get a buckle of sea moss to buy. Um, you can get the dry one, and if you use my code Chef Ricardo, you get around uh, 15% off. All right, so here it is. Now, where a lot of people does not know, sea moss is organic, all right. It's organic and it's very, very, very good for you. I will encourage you guys, if you can get this right here, get it and use it, all right? Wash out that salt out of it. Um, very good for a lot of stuff. Very good for your skin. Very good for your face. Very good for your ear. Very good for the body. Very good for the body. Very good for this. Very good for that. You can do your own um, search on the CMOS right here for yourself all right this little one so we got all different kind of color we got three different kind of color we got the green one the gold one and i think we got the red one also i believe so i need to look but just to know that right now i have this one which i'm gonna show you how to prepare it now how to prepare sea mass this is what you're gonna need to do all right i'm gonna show you All right, so you need to um, put some water into the tub like this with this dry sea moss gel, with the dry sea moss. All right. So this is one of the first process what you need to do with your sea moss, okay? Then after you do this, After you do that, then we're going to um, get some lemon. All right. Yeah, I got some lemon which I'm, I'm already washed off. I have in my fridge. So this is what you want to do. You want to get some lemon juice and squeeze on it. You want to use lemon to wash it off, or you can use lime. All right. So this is the first process of do your sea mass. And wash off the sea moss, guys. You're gonna feel a little bit slimy and all them stuff there, but don't worry yourself about that. It's all good to go. Alright? So you need to wash off the salt off of it. Wash it very good. Wash it about three to four times. This is one of the best ways you can start to prepare, get your sea moss ready. Now, 
If you want to make the sea mask gel, you have to watch the next video in 24 hours with Chef Ricardo. So keep tuning in and do not miss that part two after I did this one tonight. All right, guys, that is amazing. Please share the video, guys. Now, it's amazing, guys. Trust me. So I'm just going to simply loose the part. That means I can see everything what's going on inside of it, okay? Just loose it up apart. That means nothing, nothing, not itch up inside of it. This is amazing, guys. I love this guy. I'm always using it. You can put sea mask in anything at home, man. You know what I mean? This one not too bad. Though. It doesn't too, you know what I mean? But you have to wash it very good because of sun and all them stuff there, you know? Yeah, you have to just... Make sure you wash it really, really, really good, guys. Trust me. You have to make sure. I'm going to show you the best way to do it. Though. You need to watch the video. You know? Watch the video, guys. Because, you know what I mean? A lot of people want to learn how to do this one. Because... Uh, some people wash it off, you know, man. Perfect, you know. Get off out that, that salt out of it and that sun. All right. Yeah, some of this right here need to loose up. Yeah, but it's fine, man. It will. All right, look at that. That is amazing. All right, so it's clean and nice, too, you know. Very, very nice. Look at it. Not too bad. Esther Delicious. Oh, my gosh. Keep hiding from Chef Ricardo cooking. All right, but anyway, nice to see you. Um, yeah, this is looking amazing. Look how it clean and nice, guys. You see? Yeah, that's not too bad, man. Not too bad at all. All right, now, so this is number one after washing. All right. All right. Yeah, so that's part one. All right, this is part one. This is gonna be part two now. Cause this is all you have to do. The sea mask, guys. Trust me. All right, we're gonna get some more lemon. We're gonna squeeze on it again. All right, so this is gonna be the second time. Rum fish. Good morning. Um, happy Easter, man. Water again. All right. Nice one. Yeah. So you need to wash this again, guys. Like, you know what I mean? Wash it properly. Yeah. Rum fish, man. Nice to see you. Chef Ricardo, nice to see you again, man. So now, guys, I want to say to you. Try and get yourself some sea mass. Because a lot of people doesn't know oh, the full 100% benefit of sea mass. A lot of people, up to till today, a lot of people still don't understand why. Uh, some people understand it. Some people still doesn't understand why sea mass is so powerful. You know what I mean? Why sea mass have so much benefit. Why sea mass can help in so many different ways. Fight against a lot of stuff from in your immune system. You know what I mean? Get that lemon on into it. So this right here, you take one teaspoon of sea moss every morning on a empty stomach. You know what that can do for you? Make you have pretty ear. Make you look, if you look like 60, you're going to look like 39, 40. All right? If you look like 90, you're going to look like 70. So it's like you drop off a 30 years off gap. All right? That's what sea moss do. So it's so really powerful. Stuff for you to have at home, you know what I mean? Fight against a lot of stuff. Make your skin look good. You don't need to do nothing to your skin. You know what I mean? It just make your skin look fresh and nice. Powerful, man. Sea mass is powerful. Take one teaspoon every morning on an empty stomach. All right? Just have to make sure you wash it really good. And I'm going to show you the best way how to soak the sea mass. All right? Some people boil the sea mass, but you don't have to. Okay? 
Once you put it on the right and proper way and you do it the right way, you just blend it naturally next day. But look at that, fresh and nice. Yeah, and no, you don't want to smell no rawness. Oh yeah, smell good. You do not want to smell no rawness or, you know what I mean, you just want to get the whole fresh niceness of the sea moss. All right, yeah. And this is looking amazing, guys. Just want to make sure you wash it good. You might see me, I do this over and over, but you have to do it this way, guys. That's the only way you can do the sea mask. Right here. Now we're going to pour this water. All right. So this is going to make the second time. we we'll wash it. Let's get rid of this water. All right. Now. We're going to run one more water on it. Right, water. All right, so I'm gonna rinse it off now with some of that water. Then now I'm gonna show you the the, 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 the bit which you're gonna be needed to do at home, which is gonna be very important for you to do at home. Is this bit? All right, um, cause a lot of people doesn't know. When you're doing sea moss, there are certain things where you have to do. Up to till today, a lot of people still not doing it the right way. Because a lot, I see a lot of people doing it. Especially if you live in the Caribbean, or you live in overseas where you can go up into the mountain. That's even much better. Alright. Lots of water going on, but it's fine. Alright. Let's get rid of this one. Alright. Now, put back that one inside of it. Alright, then this water is from my kettle which I boil. Alright. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm simply showing you how you put a little bit of chicks into it. Just give me a second. Okay, now. This is how me normally do it. I don't know about you guys. Okay? If you boil a kettle or you, you know what I mean, get a, or you have some buckle water, this is what you need to do. Use buckle water and rinse it now. Alright? Yeah. So you're gonna use some buckle water and rinse it. Alright? Right, yeah, perfect. You can't smell nothing, and that's because it's important enough for you to get out all of that salt and anything we're inside of it. Perfect. Now, take a good look at it. All right, guys, take a good look. That's all you want your sea moss nice and pretty. All right, now. Okay. Yeah. Now let's get rid of that water. All right. Now this is the last bit of it now. So what I'm gonna do? Pour back the sea moss into it. All right. I want to pour the sea moss into it. Where you gonna? I'm gonna get some buckle water. Use buckle water and soak it. Don't use a type water and soak the sea moss overnight. This is what you want to do. All right, I'm going to get one. Two. All right. Three. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Three buckle is perfect for it right here. All right. Then what we're going to do, we're going to get some lemon. And 
put inside of it like this. All right. All right, so this is what you want to do and soak it overnight. All right. God. Here it is. Just put some lemon inside of it and leave it overnight. Now, if you want to see part two, join me tomorrow, tomorrow with Chef Ricardo. I'm going to show you exactly how to do part two of the sea mass. All right. And as I say, do not use tap water when you're going to leave it overnight and soak it. All right. You want to make sure. And then you boil a kettle and you buy yourself a few bottles of big water and pour inside of it and soak like this overnight. All right, you need to put it into your fridge and leave it overnight. You know what I mean? Um, or if you, you know what I mean, you can leave it outside, but, I, I, but I'll just put it in my fridge. It's more easier for Chef Ricardo. But you also you can just, um, because the lemon inside of it, you know? Because a lot of people don't may not have a lot of big space and all that stuff. But this is one of the best way you can do your sea mask guys all right make sure you wash it nicely like this and trust me wherever you can go wherever you are trust me you can get this sea mass from ocean mass this is the gold one i'm using go to www.oceanmass.co.uk or you can go to my website chefrecorder.co.uk because i also have sea mass on my website yes the dry one if you live abroad get the dry one the dry one is perfect when you get it you do a chef ricardo do and make yourself your own sea mask gel use it on your face use it on your skin use it on your hand use it on your tummy a lot of people have a mark and all them stuff there here is a remedy for you guys all right you just have to believe these things do work eh, at home all right yeah so nice this is gonna be an amazing one trust me you will see part two oh i'm gonna be doing it tomorrow so if you want to see part two John Chef Ricardo tomorrow. Do not miss the video. And I'm going to show you how to do part two sea mass from Chef Ricardo cooking. All right. I may do that tomorrow in the evening, roughly about seven o'clock in the evening. All right. When a lot of people, they're warm, chill, relax and having a, you know what I mean? A nice, lovely evening. So join me tomorrow evening. I'm going to show you exactly how to do your sea mass gel and put it into a container. Keep it into your fridge for at least five days and use it, guys. That's the best way. You're going to be happy. And as I say, if you don't understand the sea moss thing, the best thing to do is to Google it. What is the benefit of sea moss? If you don't understand sea moss, all right? But this got a lot of health benefit. Weight loss, detoxing, cleansing of the body, skin, skin problem. Yeah, lemon and lime. No, I don't have any lime, Chef Andrea. That's what I have to use. Um... Um, lemon. I don't, I don't have any lime. But if you guys have lime, you can use lime. All right. So yeah, you know what I mean. As I say, they can use it. Wash your skin. Put it into your bath. There is so much things you can do with sea mask, guys. It's an, it's something more powerful. So the best thing is to Google it. What's the benefit of sea mask? All right. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned in. Um, I will be doing this tea later on for you guys. This is a cumin seed which I was soaking from last night. I was going to do the video this morning, but we're going to do this later on for a bedtime drink for you tonight, all right? So, um, the better food, thank you so much. The beautiful, thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate the love. Here it is, all right? If you want to see how oh, I'm going to make the cumin seed tea later on, yeah, this is it right here. I've been soaking it from last night. I was going to do it this morning, but it was a little bit too late. So I'm going to be doing this one tonight. You can drink it before you go to your bed or first thing in the morning and I hem the stomach. Giant Chef Ricardo tonight about 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock my time, UK time. You know what I mean? It may be different time for you guys overseas, all right? But stay blessed. Have a lovely Saturday evening and I'll catch up with another one. And I'm out. This is from Chef Ricardo Cooking. Um, big up a few of my people on my YouTube channel. Um, some of my members um, who good supporting Chef Ricardo and all of the other audience who are supporting who are coming on. I appreciate you guys, love. The beautiful Chef Andre, thanks. Here's his him. Thank you so much. Check out the beautiful shop, yeah, YouTube channel. Esther Delicious, um, Rum Fish. Um, yeah, Eat Good TV, 
Thank you so much for coming on the show. I appreciate it. Have a beautiful Saturday evening, guys. Stay blessed. See you next time. Bye-bye.